click text and it allows you to insert text onto the page very quickly. That's the reason why we have these quick links so you don't have to click into the box. Not that it's a big deal, but it just seems that it's quicker. But you can do it this way. You click insert, you hit text. You could also do it that way as well, but it just seems to be quicker this way. So, so now we have a couple of text boxes on the page. Now there are a couple of things that can happen here. You can click on to text and to edit text, there's two ways. You can click on edit to click on text, or you could just simply double click you're inside the edit mode. You'll notice the dashes around the box and then you can begin to highlight things and make changes or do whatever, right? To change colors and font and all these things, you simply highlight what you want to change and then you can go up and say, okay, I want, I don't know, like an aerial black, uh, maybe in a larger size and a different color. So let's put it like red or something and we'll bold it or something. There you go. So that's an example. So editing text is pretty simple. If you'd like to get more text, you simply move the text. Here's what I like to do when I edit. I actually open up the text box. So let me delete this one here. What I do is, is I open up the text box so I could get to everything, right? So I open up the text box and then I double click inside, which gives me lots of space now to work. And then I can go in and highlight. Okay, I'm going to make this now a link. So I'm going to highlight the text, head over to link, click on to the link section and you could just type in an address or you could browse the folder to go into your folder of images or you could go into public HTML and go into all of your HTML here. So say for instance I wanted to link to our home page I would go index.html click the little checkbox next to it and click insert and then insert again and now here is the actual link that's been applied to the page. So it's, as you can see, it's really, really simple. Adding additional text to the pages are pretty simple. You simply double click and you can hit a return. Mike was here. Simple. And then I can bold that. I can change the font size to something larger, maybe change the font to something very cool. Boom, that easy. So that's how you do text. Now let's go ahead and do a heading now. So say for instance this is the text onto the page. Remember you can scale it by the way. But say for instance this is the text on the page and we'd like to insert a heading. Well that's pretty easy. Just click insert heading. Once the heading's been inserted you'll see it here. Now if you'd like to change the type of heading you simply click on to the heading itself and then head over to the type which is heading one, two, three, or four. Heading one, you really only want to have one on the page. It tells Google and other search engines what the page is about. So try to put one heading on the page always and make sure that's on the top of the page. Heading twos, threes, and fours are basically to identify paragraphs and their content. So what I normally do is, is I put a heading over on the top of the page. So uh, this heading, I would call it, I don't know, let's say tutorial tutorial for learning whatever right and then here's my text underneath I go over I click onto it now I make sure it's a heading one and now Google knows what this is about which is very cool All right so that's how you put in uh, headings that's how you put in links and paragraphs so uh, now we'll move on to the next tutorial which is working with the shopping cart